I'm going to show you how to replace a porcelain pull string light fixture in a closet here that's gone bad. Um, first thing you do is you find the uh, fuse box, figure out which supplies it, and flip the switch on that. And on another outlet, I've run an extension cord and plugged in a shop light so I can actually see what I'm doing in here. We have two screws here on each side, and I'm going to take those out. Okay, so now my porcelain light fixture is dropped, and there's wires exposed. And to make sure that the wires aren't hot, I have my AC sensor here. It looks like a pin, but it should light up if you touch any wire that's hot, even including the insulation on the wire, it should light up if it's hot. And this looks like it's dead. Now, I don't always trust these, so I test it um, on a wire that I know is hot. So what I'll do is, just to make sure and be safe, is I'll turn this back on and see if my tester actually works. Yep, see that? There it is, it lights up. So I know that's hot, my tester works, and I also know that this is the switch that turns so off. So here we have white and black wire coming out. The white is the neutral and the black wire is the hot. And there's two screws. You have a brass screw and a uh, silver screw. The silver always takes the neutral, the white, and the black will take the hot. We will undo those screws and drop the porcelain light off of the wires and then we will have two wires hanging there to install our new porcelain light. So on the back side of the new porcelain light fixture we have two sets of screws and I went ahead and seated one of the uh, brass ones and one of the silver ones down because we only need to hook up to one on each side and I left two of them still sticking up here because what we're going to do is we're going to make a hook on the end of your bare wires here like that and they will hook around the screws that are sticking up there and then we will tighten them down to make the complete connection. So now that I know my uh, screws are tight here where I hooked the wires up to, I went ahead and shoved the rest of the wires up into the electrical box making sure the wire nuts didn't come loose, the wire nuts that were already on there. And this porcelain fixture is keyed right here. As you can see, it looks like a keyhole. And that makes it nice because I can go ahead and put my screws that came with it, mounting screws, into the electrical box here. And I went ahead and screwed them in just a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to shove this up there to where we attach it and give it a little twist. And that'll kind of lock it in before we take the screwdriver to it. Alright, now that it's fitted in the, the keyhole slot there and I turned it so it's holding it, I'm going to go ahead and screw those in with a screwdriver. The screws are now tightened and the fixture is pretty well planted in place. I put a bulb in it. So now we'll turn the power switch back on and pull the string see if it works. So there you have it.